Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet to see all of our uh, 3D printing Prusa uh, sorted videos. Uh, we've done a lot of mods to these printers, including the Prusa and the Creality 3D printers. Anyway, um, today we're going to show you how to update your firmware. Now this MK3S Plus has been um, modified with the Raspberry Pi controller for Octoprint, but we're going to do the upgrade on the uh, firmware the old-fashioned way. Simply plugging in the USB plug from the printer to your computer. If you wanted to go through the Octoprint firmware update, there are other videos on YouTube that you can search out for that. But for this one, we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way. So anyway, uh, first thing you need to do is find out what your uh, current firmware is. And for that, we're just going to scroll down to support. And then, boom, pops up the uh, firmware. This is the older firmware on this particular printer. And let's see what Prusa says we should have. I'll probably have links down below in the description. So that'll make it easier for you to find the page for the Prusa update on the firmware. But if you're wondering how else you can do it, just type in Prusa, Prusa firmware update, click search. And pretty much the first thing that pops up is gonna be the firmware updating on the Prusa website. And it just so happens to show us our model here, which is the MK3S Plus. And there's a little note on there about the Super Pinda. And we scroll down. It shows you the whole procedure here, but we're gonna do the video. So up here at the top, in order to download the firmware, you click on software. And we will find drivers and firmware. And scroll down to your model. This is the one we have. So you can see the current one is 3.11.0 and it shows you the changes that they've made so we're going to upgrade to that one today and just click on download up here you see the pop-up this is on a windows computer by the way obviously save as and then what i did was i made a folder in my 3d printing folder i made a subfolder of firmware and then another one of prusa because I have a Creality printer too. So I want to put the downloaded uh, zip file into this folder. Now I've already done this, so you can kind of see it down there, but if you click on save, it'll save this zip file in this folder for you. Okay, so you want to open up the folder that the zip file is in here with the firmware. You see I already unzipped it, but this is the file, the .zip file, that you're going to unzip. So if you click on it, it says extract all. Click on that and it will save it in the same folder, which you can see here. And this one has several files in it, some PDFs, and then it's got this hex file and that's the one you want to use for your update. All right, so we've got the printer on. We've got the USB plug into the computer here. Plugged in. The next thing you're gonna do is open up Prusa Slicer, whichever one you've got there, and go up to Configuration. Click on that. Go down to Flash Printer Firmware. And then your printer should show up here, identified you can see original Prusa i3, MK3 on COM3. It doesn't show up, click on rescan, check your plugs, make sure you got it all plugged in. All right, so we've got that selected and then we click on browse and we're gonna open up uh, 3D printing file, go down to firmware, open up Prusa, open up the folder there's the hex file, that's the one we're gonna select. Click on that, and then we're just going to go ahead and click on Flash. 
might take a little while. It's always scary kind of updating your firmware when things are going so well and your prints are perfect. So I hesitantly change firmware, but a lot of times there's a bug that you don't know about that you might want to have to work on. And um, this could fix that bug. On a side note, I've got several videos on the Prusa as far as upgrading with, uh, you know, installing the Raspberry Pi and the quick change uh, Revo 6 hot end. Also the webcam, so go to the channel and view those if you would. Follow the links below. I've got a lot of useful stuff down there. And um, also give it a like if it's useful. That helps out the algorithms with YouTube and supports our channel. Okay, when she's done, it says flashing succeeded. And Prusha says it is okay. Let's click on the button here. Go down to support. There it is. There's the new firmware. So all you have to do um, is disconnect your computer if you're using the Raspberry Pi like I do, or leave the computer plugged in if you're using it the old fashioned way. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and support the channel using the links below. Thanks for watching, and check out all of our other videos on the channel. Have a great day.